I have started making the switch over to Vivaldi as my main browser now. I was a Firefox user. Uh, you know, if I just go over here, I'll go ahead and load up Firefox browser. Look, I do like Firefox, but Vivaldi has really gotten my attention lately. Let's talk about it. When it comes to Vivaldi in the past, one of my main complaints is it's been so much more than a browser. I think recently Vivaldi has definitely become aware of this because in the installer this time around, it literally gives you an option for just web browser, not, you know, an entire suite of tools when in all reality, most people just want a web browser when they're going for something like Vivaldi, which is exactly me. So after seeing that in the install and setup of Vivaldi this time around, I've definitely had my attention peaked and I've been playing around with it. For one, out of the gate, it doesn't look exactly like this but it will look extremely close. You've got a drop down menu up here for Vivaldi that will give you, you know, your typical file menu, file edit stuff. You've got this side panel over here um, and your workspaces and tabs at the top. Uh, when you set up during the install, it'll give you a whole bunch of different choices. So you can configure it exactly how you want it. And I gotta be honest, there's not too much cruft out of the get-go, this bookmarks toolbar is not here by default. Normally you would just access your bookmarks through here, but I enabled it. I like having my bookmarks here. The little side sidebar, of course, you can always just get rid of it and not really bother with it, but you can quickly access your downloads. Um, there, I believe there's notes here, so you can take some notes as you're going through your browser and stuff. The workspaces is, you can, I mean, it's, it's an idea of a workspace. You can have different workspaces with a whole bunch of different tabs in them, switch between them. There's a lot of basic things that are put in here that are very nice. The fact that if we go over here to Hugo Plate, which I've been looking into Hugo recently uh, for building or a static giant, static site generator. I don't know what happened there. can't speak, but there's, a, I mean, you can take a screenshot of the page. You can toggle images. So it's just a, a very nice. It's got options for pretty much everything. And it compared to Firefox, I, I don't know how, but they've managed to make the UI have much more going on without feeling any more cluttered than Firefox is. It's, it feels the same. And yet it also feels like there's so much more going on. I am liking it. The speed is of course good. There's no problem there. And one of the main reasons that I'm very interested in how I'm going to like Fafaldi is I've had issues with Firefox not being very reliable when it comes to wanting to build and play around with CSS and not having to worry about it rendering differently than something like Chrome. And with Vivaldi being Chrome, I can not have to worry about that. So yeah, I'm, I'm very interested and excited to keep using Vivaldi. If you are someone who has been using Vivaldi for quite a while, I would love it if you would share some tips for people down in the comments below. And as I continue to use Vivaldi, eventually I plan on doing another video talking about some of the cool things that I've learned and discussing more about my workflow in Vivaldi. But I am excited to give it a chance and really start using it. I'm also very excited to have Vivaldi address one of my main concerns, and I'm sure was probably a lot of other people's main concerns with, with Vivaldi, was simply that it was, it had too much involved in it for most people. And it's the best of both, both worlds now. You 
literally the last the last or at the very least one of the last options in the setup is do you want just a simple web browser or do you want something much more i like that tell me what you think in the comments below thank you guys for watching and i also do want to say thank you to all the people who support me over on patreon it means a ton without your support i could not nearly have the energy and the time to keep up with this youtube channel and be posting like i am here recently so thank you guys and thank everyone on the channel for liking going over and above by commenting joining the discord and in, just in general sharing the content thank you guys and it is it's very nice to have you around look forward to seeing you in the next one i'll see you bye-bye